actually driving by this day. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to my channel. My name is Gabriel. Coming at you straight from Manhattan, New York. Yeah. On my way home with my brother Anthony. Anthony, call me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we literally just saw a, a, a military truck pass us. Driving now, flip the camera. I just catch it in the in. Uh, it's, it's okay. Yeah, it's like for it's the one that's further down on the right. We're gonna see that that one that stayed on the road with the red. That car, yeah, that's the one. It was like it's, it's, it's too far now. But it was literally like armored. It looked like it was ready to like take a a, a tank shot or something. Ridiculous. My back for a while. I'm like, what are you doing so close? He's on the universe. Oh, yeah. I mean, maybe. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> it's just a literal military. <laughs> no, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't really literal. I think it was just some rich dude. <laughs> yeah, showing off. <laughs> no, I saw, I saw like a, one of those supercars walking down here as well. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it was white and black. Yeah, so I mean, it looked nice, at least. Yeah, so. Oh, let me actually turn that down. Oh, sorry. Damn, that was nice. Gonna get claimed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> by the, uh, I don't know, by the uh, studios that own. They always have like bots that like are always searching for their music. And they just claim it. Even though it's like. What's the point of claiming a channel that has like three views per video? You know, like you're not gonna make any money by claiming, you know, my video. Like it's not you. Like hello, like I literally got me and like you and like two people watching my video. Like what? What is the point of claiming small? Like you know, like pretty much non-existent channels. People want to show off their power. What I can do? Fear me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. I remember one YouTube, like, it wasn't like that. He would play random music and they wouldn't care. What happened? <laughs> Money. <laughs> Money happened. <laughs> That's what happened. It was, uh. I mean, yeah, they're trying to, like, be like. They're trying to. Pay, they're basically, they're trying to be like TV. You know, advertising friendly and all that type of stuff. And it's like, you're going against your roots, man. <laughs> and now, now there's like what two ads per video now? Well, obviously That's depending on how long the video is. Yeah. But on, on, on these these like eight minute videos, ten minute videos, you see two ads, three ads. Wait. Because usually I see like ads being spread out throughout the video, or they're either show up at the end. Every time those banners pop up on the bottom of the video, that's yeah. an ad as well. It's not always video ads. Sometimes it's like those pop-ups. Oh, yeah. You know, do those, get, those count as well. Do they get money every time you press X? <laughs> it's no. Every time you press the video itself, the, the ad, you get a ticket for show. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? None. <laughs> None. The audience doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody got to know. <laughs> it will remain a mystery. <laughs> oh yeah, but work was so slow today. Oh yeah. That was me. Although there are what? some residents, I, I love having conversations with them. You do porter today? No, I'm doorman. Well, oh. I'm doorman at, at and at the front desk at the same time. Doorman and concierge? Yeah. Why, they, they don't have two people doing that at the same time? They're cheap. <laughs> so you got to leave the desk to go open the door and shit? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're not going to. We're not going to do none of that. Do I need this one? I don't need that one. That's better. Yeah. The glare was like, you look like you had God trying to talk to you. <laughs> I like to think so. <laughs> the Holy Spirit has thy message. <laughs> Wait, that's interesting. So mm. when he doesn't talk to you, that's when we're going through our dark times. So what? he, I, this, this is something that popped up, popped up in my mind. So God has so many people to look after. 
to us. <laughs> so once he gets our eyes off of one of us, that's when we go through our hard, our hard times, our trials. Then once he looks over us back again, he's like, wait. And then that's when you overcome that trial, and then you are in a high in life for a bit. I don't think and that's how that it works. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you like to think so. Like God's supposed to be omnipotent. Omnipotent. That's crazy. How many people are there in the world? Well, the limitations of the human body do not apply to a divine being such as God. <laughs> you feel like that? <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like the right way to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It must have sucked to live in the, in the medieval times. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't know how good things were going to be. So, in terms of actually being alive at that time, you know, it was, it was as good as it was going to be. You know, I mean. Somebody from back then were to be plopped down in our time, you know, it'd be freaking uh, Star Trek status almost, you know, like it's like you, you guys are sorcerers, <laughs> like you're doing stuff. Like, how is this even possible? You can control that thing that's all the way over there by pressing some type of switch on this tiny machine that you have in your hand here. It's magic. It's magic and sorcery. They will claim alchemy, and then they will have us beheaded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dark arts. <laughs> the society has made a contract with the devil. There is no other explanation. Look at this machine. It eats you, and then it teleports you somewhere else in a matter of minutes. <laughs> you can cross the ocean in hours. Shenanigans. It's a day. It takes. 30 days at least to cross the ocean. <laughs> Jeez. That's right. That's how long it took them boats. <laughs> and even the boats now, it's like <laughs> way faster than those back then. Jeez. Imagine a submarine. <laughs> a ship that can sink and not sink? What? <laughs> this is magic. <laughs> how do you breathe? <laughs> <laughs> How is there light coming from all these things? <laughs> Are there little spirits trapped within? Yeah, man. I mean, you, I guess you could say for every time period, you know, but for people to say that it's like, oh, times are so bad right now. It's like, yeah, guys, compared to what? <laughs> like, you want to go be born in the 80s, 90s? I don't think so. You know, like, like I was born in the, in the late 80s.
type of institutions, they like were projecting, you know, like the progress of third world countries. Um, and in terms of like hunger and minimum wage and all that type of stuff, like the entire world is like a decade ahead of the, what the projections were. Oh. You know, so like everybody's doing better than what anybody thought we were gonna be doing. Not saying that it's perfect, but okay. it's better than what we thought we could do. You know, like and that's like a that's a common trend throughout the world, throughout all types of countries, from all the cultures. It's like everybody is doing better than what they thought they were gonna be doing at the at this time, which is a good thing. But nobody knows that. There's no, you know, that's 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 boring news. So the only type of news that sells is yeah the violence and the how 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 are we killing each other now it's like yeah that should be covered too but it would be nice to get like some frame of reference you know to how good we're actually doing as well you know like ain't nobody covering how covid infection rates and 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 all of that has gone down by like a solid 50 to 70 percent throughout the entire country over the last couple weeks isn't that off? You know, like, huh? <laughs> Isn't that weird? That all of a sudden, boom, people. Well, it was, it was, the reason could be because it's cold and everybody, people, people are more likely to stay inside. Yeah. But as soon as Biden, will, will, um, you know, will, will officially made president, boom, all of a sudden, COVID percentage is down, guys. Like, we're good. <laughs> no, I, I mean, but it's like, <laughs> like, people have been saying that it's like, there's multiple strains of it, and chances are that a whole bunch of people got a very, like, some benign or weak version of it without even knowing. And because it was a, a weak benign, they maybe had a headache or they maybe had, like, a light cough or whatever. They basically, it was just, like, a little, a slight little cold for a little while, but it still resulted in them becoming immune um, to it because it's, it's just the same it's the same genetic whatever code for the for the antibodies and as a result they never got reported as a case you know which means that way more people got it and were completely fine than what the studies show which means that the virus is way less lethal, you know, than, than what everybody thought it was. You know, so so because that's probably been going on, we probably are way closer to herd immunity than what the experts think we are. You know? Isn't that cool? Huh? That's cool. Herd immunity. And I mean, there's a lot of validity to it because even with the whole Cuomo thing that's going on right now, like, why is so many people caring now? It's because he was hiding the numbers. Oh you know? yeah. So it's like, it's like, so what? 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 What does that mean? He was underreporting the cases, you know. And it's like in in, in Cuomo's case, he was underreporting the deaths by a lot, you know. So that would. Huh? I didn't know that. You know, yeah, I mean... No, because to the public... To, to the public's eye, like, he's the bad guy. Okay, he doesn't do that, we gotta take him down. Cancel culture, outrage culture. Everybody just wants to gang up on one guy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I mean... The, the thing that I don't like the, is how people were praising him oh. just in, like, what, September, October... You know, he wrote a book about being a leader during a crisis because of the, you know, he won, he won a, a, an Emmy for his leadership during the COVID crisis. And it's like, but that's the thing. It's like, even when all that was happening, there were people saying, yeah, but how is he getting praise when, you know, 6,000 plus people were, were, were dead because of the, of his decisions during the crisis. And then it's like, and then nobody cared. Yeah. Like nobody cared. 
the news were reporting on it, and and obviously everybody that watches the news as their main source of of information, they didn't care because the news didn't tell them, and you know, and now even when you have people like me telling telling people online, I even told I even told Mars about it, and she didn't she didn't care at the time, you know, and it's like. Or it's not. It's like just look at the date. Like look, look at the actual records. Like it wasn't like it was a secret. It wasn't a secret. You know, this was this was this was actual policy that he had written because and we saw the results of what happened. And then it's like you know when you have people, you know, like me on a on a smaller personal scale, and, and then you had a bunch of people on YouTube on a bigger scale. Saying the exact same shit about how this guy, this guy is not doing a good job. No, everybody called us like crazy, you know, or or just ignored what we were saying. And now all of a sudden, now that you know all the news outlets are saying, oh, this guy, you know, his decisions might have led to the deaths of blah 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 blah. Now it's like, oh my God, he did such a bad job. You know, it's like he. What do you mean? It's frustrating because then. People that don't know, they come into the conversation thinking that they're bringing in new information, and it's like, it's like, no, you're 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 late. You're like <laughs> months late, and just because where you're getting your information is finally now deciding to cover it, now you now it's relevant. It's like no, this this has been happening, and people have been saying that it's been happening, but ain't nobody want to care, uh, you know. So it's like people gotta like understand. This is why you don't just get your information from one place you have to diversify your portfolio when it comes to consuming information because what happens is that you're going to be just completely blind to the bad things that people are doing that political leaders especially are doing and you're going to be praising them while they're doing it that's exactly what people were praising Cuomo for his leadership skills during freaking COVID <laughs> And it's just like every everybody that bothered to do some research and actually inform themselves knew that he was doing an awful job. Everybody, everybody that bothered to just be responsible with their consumption of, of, of news and of information knew that everything that the media was saying about how great the guy of job this dude was doing was 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 just complete BS. You know. <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, but that, that, obvious. I mean, the media, that they know, they don't even have to do that. If you're a Democrat, you don't have to do that because the, the media in general leans left, yeah. you know, so the media will always play defense, will always support the, the, the Democrats whenever they're doing something shady, you know, I mean, just look at Biden, for example. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you heard the, the, the refund bill? Yeah, the refund bill, and there's like, like a fraction like out of out of how out of over a trillion okay. over a trillion in in that bill and how much are we <laughs> you know we got we got billions going to other countries Wait, but so whatever it's okay huh they're going to other countries of course do you know for what huh do you know for what i mean the last time that i I, I, didn't, I haven't seen the like finalized details. details of the bill, but people that were looking at it before, I think it went through a couple of revisions, but initially it had like weird like educational funding for like Middle East countries and stuff like that. It's not fair to call that COVID relief either. Why? <laughs> what does what does Education. schooling in the Middle East have to do with COVID relief? <laughs> I'm trying to think of something. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make up something. I don't know. It's not even 
it's not even just that. It's just the, the whole, like, how Biden can literally do nothing. And the media will just give him credit for something good that happens. <laughs> like, what's he, what's he done so far? Other than just try to undo all of the things that Trump was doing, what has he actually done? You know? <laughs> they're gonna catch. They're gonna ca they're gonna catch the, the the group on the in the front. They're gonna have to slow down. <laughs> no, but like all of his, Biden has done like nothing except sign a bunch of executive orders, which is the reason why you sign executive orders is so that you don't have to so that. Because usually you have to ask, pretty much, you have to ask the other houses um, for, for for them to vote on something for it to actually happen. Unless you do an executive order, then that just, just going to go through. You know, so it's yeah. it's like, it's like lightweight, kingly, or like authority, light, light, lightweight, you know, dictator status, you know, like... Executive order. I'm gonna do executive orders, so that that way these things just happen without them having to go through the house and without them having to go through the checks and balance system that the U.S. has has is, is founded on. You know, and Biden has done more than Trump did. He, he's done more than Obama did. He's done more than Clinton did. He, like he's done more executive orders in the first couple months of his presidency than the last couple presidents combined. You know, it's like. People, people don't care. People don't see that. And you have again, this is the same shit that that people that happened with Cuomo. It's like we're here, literally telling people that's a bad thing that is happening right now. It's happening right now. It's a bad thing. Pay attention. Hello, you know. But then everybody's going to ignore it. And then down the line, he's going to do some shit that's going to actually be really bad. And it's gonna affect, and, and at that point, the media is gonna have to cover it as something that's bad, and then everybody's gonna be like, say, like, oh, he's signing way too many executive orders. But it, it's like predictable. Kavi, they're covering us under their blanket and they're putting us to sleep. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, yes. I guess everybody just way too focused on their own lives. That, that, that's for me, I think. Yeah. I mean, well, <laughs> for the most part, yeah, that, that that is true. For the most part. And that's why all those protests were happening last year, because there was there was nothing else to focus on but that you know, that death. <laughs> And, and, and crazy how like um, once once the COVID thing starts um, slowing down, I remember, I remember like for for a week. Then um, everybody you know went back to work, and then the protest start the protest started slowing down, and poof, no more protests. <laughs> That's how what happens. People <laughs> need to be distracted. That's crazy. But people gotta also freaking not be lied to and remain ignorant of the fact that they're being lied to. How do you know you're being lied to in the first place? Like I said, by diversifying your portfolio of information. To where? Huh? To where? To everything. Okay. If you if you disagree with somebody, listen to them. If you agree with somebody, listen to them. Yeah. If there's somebody that they listen to, listen to them. And if somebody that the person that you disagree with listens to, then listen to that person as well. And that's it. That's all you can do. Diversify your information of, of Diversify your portfolio of information. That's the only cure. But that takes responsibility and some actual work. Yeah. That's how you communicate, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>